Hello, everyone, and welcome to the premiere episode of WCW Nitro. We are live from Tampa, Florida, and we are here at Club La Vila. These people are excited for action, ladies and gentlemen, as they are the first to see WCW Nitro in the universe mode, and we will be kicking things off here early with Ric Flair and Eddie Guerrero. These fans definitely do not love the Nature Boy. Eddie Guerrero here with some fiery chops and oh, got there. Player back on the ropes. Eddie Guerrero using that choke, using those ropes right there to his advantage. Eddie Guerrero here, a young cruiserweight. Came from the upbringings of, of ECW, Extreme Championship Wrestling, as he and Dean Malenko and Rey Mysterio, Chris Jericho, among others here in WCW that had the ECW background, all facing each other. Ric Flair, obviously, as we know, the nature boy, certainly no stranger to the ring, has always been the champion here in WCW. To say about 13 times here in WCW, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely one of the best champions to ever lace up the boots, and Eddie Guerrero is fired up here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what a move there by Eddie. And Arn already getting involved here, ladies and gentlemen. I just knew that Arn Anderson would probably pay, play a role here in this match as him and Ric Flair have always had that bond, that relationship. Eddie, oh man, I thought Eddie was gonna get in there with the, the springboard attack. And Eddie is in full control, ladies and gentlemen, over the Nature Boy. I'm very, very surprised to see Eddie be in such control of this match. Eddie slide through. Frankensteiner and Eddie Guerrero is on top of this matchup, ladies and gentlemen, as he celebrates to the crowd. Getting fired up. Oh, what a drop kick there by Eddie. And here's Arn Anderson again. We just knew that the enforcer would play his role. And here's a backside here by Ric Flair. Oh, kick out there by Eddie. Wow, I actually thought the ref was going to raise the hand of Ric Flair right there, ladies and gentlemen. I thought the three count was on its way. And back onto the pin. And there's an early kick out by Eddie. Guerrero, chops, vintage with Flair there, those chops. Flair looking to go to the leg. And here goes Rick Flair, targeting that leg, maybe looking to set up that figure four leg lock. This finishing move that he has used for years. And back to the leg, ladies and gentlemen, working on that medial section of the leg here. Oh, there's those chops that we see from Ric Flair time and time again. Clothesline. And just showing off here for the crowd, ladies and gentlemen, as he just rubs his boots across the forehead of Eddie Guerrero. And Ric Flair looking to target all sections of the body here, going for the legs, the arms, and the head of Eddie Guerrero in the early going here. Ric Flair getting fired up. Back to that arm. Wow, I got ahead of myself there. As Eddie with the powerful move looking for a suicide dive. Here we go. There is the Eddie Guerrero that we all love and know, ladies and gentlemen. Looking for a Power bomb onto the mat, onto the outside, working on that leg. Take 
taking it back inside the ring. Eddie going for the leg, as I just mentioned earlier. And Arn Anderson for a third time getting involved in this match. And Bulldog there by Ric Flair. Don't let Nate get fired up, ladies and gentlemen. The dirtiest player in the game will definitely take advantage of the rules, definitely take advantage of having the ringside help there from Arn Anderson. Of the top dudes that ever come here in World Championship Wrestling as Eddie takes out the leg. Arn Anderson and Ric Flair have traveled the roads together for years, ladies and gentlemen, going up against the likes of Dusty Rhodes, the Road Warriors. That's just two to name as a vertical suplex here by Ric Flair. Ric Flair, uh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the figure four leg lock that I mentioned earlier. He's got it locked in. Eddie, you're right next to the ropes. Just grab the ropes. Grab the ropes, Eddie. Come on, Eddie. Don't let Ric Flair get the first win here on the premiere episode of Nitro. As we'll never hear the end of it. Turning the pressure. Here's Eddie. Eddie turning the pressure. Turning the tables here on Ric Flair. And the oh bro. Oh, oh my. Man, oh, back to the figure four leg log goes Ric Flair. Will he yeah, and it is locked in. Eddie's a little further from the ropes. Can he reach the ropes? Can he turn the pressure? Can Eddie turn the pressure? And he has the tap out. Eddie Guerrero tapping out here on the first episode of WCW Nitro, the first match here in universe mode. Eddie with a valiant effort, to say the least, ladies and gentlemen. But we all know Ric Flair takes advantage of the rules, uses his enforcer, Rick Arn Anderson, over in the corner, ladies and gentlemen. It is definitely tough to take out the nature boy, but nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, Ric Flair with the first victory here on Nitro, as we will never hear the end of it from the nature boy. Yeah, yeah, taunting to the crowd. Ric Flair with the big win here, nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, here on the premiere event of WCW Nitro in Tampa, Florida here at Club La Vila. Ric Flair with this classic Flair strut as he gets the big win here. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back. Do not go anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now official. WCW Saturday Night will be making its first appearance here in the universe mode as this is the premiere episode of WCW Saturday Night. Live from Atlanta, Georgia, this Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, ladies and gentlemen. You do not want to miss it, so turn those notifications on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to WCW Nitro. Bobby Heenan backstage with Ric Flair. Here's the cockiness from Ric Flair. He has a point though. He has won the title here in WCW more than any competitor as we speak. Here coming up soon, Eric Bischoff will announce who the champions are here on Nitro in World Championship Wrestling. We have Rey Mysterio Jr. going against the Macho Man, Randy Savage. And for your main event, ladies and gentlemen, it will be Booker T and Stevie Ray, the Harlem Heat, going against Scott Hall and Kevin Nash, the Outsiders. Welcome back to Tampa, Florida, ladies and gentlemen. 
These fans came to see Eric Bischoff and his announcement regarding the championship titles here in World Championship Wrestling. And Eric Bischoff with the slow walk to the ring here as we wait to see who he will decide who the champions are here in World Championship Wrestling. There's many options. You have Hollywood Hulk Hogan. You have Ric Flair, the Nature Boy, who we just saw. You have Bret Hart. You have a man who's very popular in WCW. Sting is probably the fan favorite here to get the first crack at the title here, ladies and gentlemen. But nonetheless, we will find out here shortly. These fans cannot... Eric Bischoff says that WCW is the best company in professional wrestling today. Some would agree, some wouldn't. Wow, Bret Hart is gonna wear the big gold belt here in WCW. Scott Hall and Kevin Nash, the Outsiders, are your tag team champions. Huge, huge announcement as we have a very, very hefty tag team division here in WCW. And Kurt Henning will be representing the United States Championship first. Certainly not last, Diamond Dallas Page is the TV champion here in World Championship Wrestling, a title that will be defended very, very often here in uh, World Championship Wrestling. Huge announcement there. Spring Stampede three weeks coming up. We will see a four-man elimination match between the Cruiserweights going at it for the Cruiserweight belt, ladies and gentlemen. Great announcement here by Eric Bischoff. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We will be right back here at Club La Vila. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now official. WCW Saturday night will be making its first appearance here in the universe mode as this is the premiere episode of WCW Saturday night. Live from Atlanta, Georgia, this Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern time, ladies and gentlemen. You do not want to miss it, so turn those notifications on. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are live in Club La Vila here in Tampa, Florida for the, pr the premiere edition of WCW Nitro as Rey Mysterio takes the ring, ladies and gentlemen. As I stated earlier, Rey Mysterio with the ECW background that he has can move up the ranks here in the Cruiserweight division with a big win here over the Macho Man, Randy Savage. And these people definitely know that music. They know that voice. They know that it is None other than the Macho Man, Randy Savage. But Randy Savage, ladies and gentlemen, he definitely has an opportunity to compete for any belt here in World Championship Wrestling as he has held a belt at just about every level you can pretty much imagine. He could be a great competitor for the new World Heavyweight Champion in Bret Hart or even the U.S. Champion, maybe even the TV Champion in Diamond Dallas Page, but This should be a classic here on the premiere edition of WCW Nitro. And here we go here is singles competition between the young cruiserweight and the macho man Randy Savage. Oh, and there's a chop. Another chop there by Randy Savage. He might take this young kid to school. Suplex there by the Macho Man. Sizing up there with the knee.
that four-man match at Spring Stampede should be a classic. You have men like Dean Malenko, Rey Mysterio Jr. You have Psychosis. You have Juventud Guerrero. You have Eddie Guerrero, who we just saw earlier in a great match between Ric Flair. Early pin there for Rey Mysterio as he tried to take out the Macho Man early. And the Macho Man back on top with a strike to the gut. Randy Savage just toying with the young kid right now. The young Lucha. Might have been celebrating a little too soon there. Irish whip into the corner. Nice reversal by the Macho Man and a whiff there. And Rey Mysterio kick to the gut. Oh, what a move. That's what you have to do with the Macho Man. You just have to try to get in the head of the Macho Man. He does not handle the pressure very well. As, oh, they take it out to the outside here with a neck breaker from Rey Mysterio. Frankensteiner there. Rey Mysterio Jr. is definitely a talented young competitor who can do absolutely anything in the ring, any aerial attack that he so well pleases as he's gonna go to the leg and work on the lower base. We are back here live at Club La Vila. Oh, and there is Randy Savage back on the attack of the young Rey Mysterio. Savage and here goes Savage again showing this crowd that he is the macho man and once again it gets him in a bad predicament as Rey Mysterio is right there to get on the attack face buster by Rey Mysterio taking it up to the top turnbuckle nope Slammed by Randy Savage. Randy Savage is getting Rey Mysterio in a position here. Looking for the elbow off the top rope. Here it is. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Elbow off the top rope. And Randy Savage with a win here on the debut episode of WCW Nitro. And here's another look again at that flying elbow of Randy Savage, we all love and know it. Ladies and gentlemen, Randy Savage with the victory coming out on top over the young Lucha Rey Mysterio who is, like I said, a hell of a competitor. But Randy Savage getting the better of him tonight. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, you will see the new World Heavyweight Champion, Bret Hart, going against Chris Jericho. We are back here in Tampa, Florida, Club La Vila. And we will hear from Kurt Henning, the new U.S. Champion, ladies and gentlemen as he makes his way to the ring here with Bobby Heenan.
We all know Kurt Henning has a, a trait back up north of being a coward when it comes to defending the belt. And here, here comes Chris Benoit, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Benoit is here in Tampa, Florida. He is here making his first appearance. What a matchup this would be here. And these two might go at it right now. Kurt Henning's making the call. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Benoit. Kurt Henning about to go at it here. Someone make a move. Who's going to make the first move? And of course, Kurt Henning leads the ring. Because he is, like I said, Kurt Henning is a coward when it comes to defending the belt. Such a coward. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, we still have Bret Hart and Chris Jericho, and that is next. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now official. WCW Saturday Night will be making its first appearance here in the Universe Mode, as this is the premiere episode of WCW Saturday Night, live from Atlanta, Georgia, this Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, ladies and gentlemen. You do not want to miss it, so turn those notifications on. We are live here back in Tampa, Florida. And we still have the young cruiserweight, Chris Jericho, going against the hitman who is now the world heavyweight champion here in world championship wrestling. And here he is. Here is Chris Jericho, another man with the ECW background, as I've stated multiple times. Chris Jericho is honestly a competitor that I could see defeating Bret Hart here on the first edition of WCW Nitro. An all around competitor, I must say. He is cocky, he is arrogant, but he does back it up in the ring. We've seen Jericho throwing the power bombs. He's got the lion tamer. He got it all, ladies and gentlemen. But nonetheless, here is the man everyone is wanting to see. Here is the new world heavyweight champion. Big gold belt would look quite well on the Hitman. Red Hart, the competitor that nobody wants to get in the ring with. He's got the best ring IQ probably in professional wrestling right now as we speak. Here's the third match of Nitro, ladies and gentlemen. Singles competition. Back body joke early by Bret Hart as Chris Jericho was looking for the early attack. And now Bret Hart with a knee to the temple of Chris Jericho. And the early advantage already goes to the hitman. But Chris Jericho already countering with a back suplex of his own. A win here for Jericho would be a huge victory for him as he could take down the newly crowned WCW World Heavyweight Champion here. And lifts on the back elbow there. Bret Hart just looking at him in confusion, but nonetheless, here is Bret Hart taking advantage of the poor decision by Chris Jericho. Body slam there by Bret Hart. And Bret Hart, Bret Hart knows the competition that he has here in WCW. Definitely a little more stout upper card than there was it. The company was at previously, but Already taking this match early to the outside. Bret Hart catching his breath here, rolls back in. And Chris Jericho already jumping on the attack, looking to take out Bret Hart here, got him in the ropes. Irish whip. This time move there by Jericho. Bret Hart, body slam again. Early cover by the Hitman. Kick out by Jericho. Jericho has definitely shown his aggression here early on with a flying elbow. Has definitely showed his aggression here early. 
as he's not intimidated by the hitman and the technical skill, skills that the hitman possesses. Bret Hart raised from the ground up when it comes to professional wrestling. And, oh, there's a power slam there by Jericho. Power bomb. Looking for a third. Got it. And Bret Hart using the instincts to get to the rope. Using that ring IQ that I was talking about earlier. Getting to the bottom rope. And Jericho is pissed. Moving the hitman to the center of the ring. Maybe looking for the line tamer. What is Jericho looking for? Jericho is definitely not shot away from the hitman. Has he been aggressive early on? And Bret Hart getting out of that vertical suplex. Uh oh, counters it, counters it. What is he looking for? Pile driver by Bret Hart. Bret Hart with the pile driver. And he's feeding off this crowd. And he's got the momentum on his side now. Will he be looking for the sharpshooter here? Moving into the center of the ring. We might see the sharpshooter. Bret Hart. Our slip into the corner. Oh, what the hell? That's Nate. What the hell's Nate doing out here? Nate distracting the champion. Bret Hart taking his eyes off the prize. And Chris Jericho taking advantage. Wait, he's got the line tamer set up. Will he get it? He's got it locked in. Jericho's got it locked in, and that was Ric Flair's playing along. Setting up the champion. And here is Jericho with the lawn tamer sitting down on the low back of the champion. Bret Hart, can he withstand the pain? A win here for Jericho would be huge. And Bret Hart not looking to submit. He knows what this would do to his chances of keeping the title for as long as he would like to. And Bret Hart does not want to tap here. Oh my goodness, what are we seeing? Bret Hart, Bret Hart, and he taps. Chris Jericho with a humongous victory. The young stud taking out the champion on the debut episode of Nitro. Oh my God. I cannot believe what we are seeing. Anything is possible. But now, ladies and gentlemen, Moving on, we have the Harlem Heat versus the Outsiders, and that is next. Some words there from the Sonner brothers as they look to make their first appearance here in WCW on Saturday night. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Harlem Heat, and they are here for the main event, looking to take out the newly crowned WCW Tag Team Champions in the Outsiders. Harlem Heat are a dynamic tag team, called the most athletic tag team in professional wrestling. With a comparison of size and strength, ladies and gentlemen, with those two combined, these might be the most dangerous men in professional wrestling in the tag team division. Harlem Heat would be the tag team to be able to overcome the odds of the NWO, ladies and gentlemen, and we're about to find out shortly as here comes Paul and Nash. Now here's the thing about the NWO. All three men here are all capable of being main event players here in World Championship Wrestling. But at some point, you gotta think, does the ego ever play a factor with these three men? Yeah, sure now, they're all on the same page. They're looking to dominate professional wrestling. We all know the history of how they got together. We know the history of how they joined up. We know the history of all three men and their dominance in the past. But at some point, all three of them have to have their eyes on the 
the big gulf belt at some point and i just think it, there might be a boiling point to where the ego gets in the way but for now the tag team champions are here along with hulk hogan and they are ready to get their first win here in universe mode as holland nash are looking ready to go here we go ladies and gentlemen an exciting tag team match here on WCW Nitro and what a way to end the show Kevin Nash with the early offense oh he did the head there I can't tell if that's Booker T or Steve that is Booker T ladies and gentlemen Booker T probably the more athletic one of the two Stevie Ray being more the muscle being more the enforcer of the two brothers but they have had multiple championship reigns of their own we all know what the Harlem Heat are capable of, and they have, they definitely had the ability to hold the tag team championships here for a long time, and a win here tonight would definitely set them up for a future tag team match maybe in the coming weeks. But for now, that is not in stone. But it sure as hell would be exciting to see the tag team championships on the line early on here in universe mode. And Booker T with the counter here. Maybe looking for some offense against Kevin Nash, who's been controlled the whole match. And there it is. Kick to the face of the big man. Booker T with a shot. Wow, what a shot from Booker T. Booker T showing that athleticism. Getting his foot up to the seven-foot Kevin Nash. And there's a drop kick to the big man. And Booker T is fired up. Kevin Nash, and he gains control again. Looking for Stevie Ray. And Stevie Ray with a shot there to the chest of Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash with the oh, knee to the ribs there. That has to just tear down the ribs of Booker T. Oh, oh, there's Booker T with the, getting the knees up in the gut of the big man, maybe taking out the core of the big man. There with a humongous clothesline, taking down, chopping down the tree of Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash just has an answer for everything that Booker T lays out in this match early on. Kevin Nash is a dangerous individual, ladies and gentlemen. Scott Hall taking out Stevie Ray and hits Scott, Scott Hall's going up top. Hulk Hogan on down Booker T and this spot escalate real quickly here. But no, Booker T locks up with Scott Hall, gets him up. Oh, back on the apron there. Scott Hall does the same thing to Booker T. The dynamic Booker T, and here comes Stevie Ray. Here comes Stevie Ray and Booker T's in the way. Scott Hall able to capitalize on that with the Bulldog. And now here we go. Here's Stevie Ray with the offense. Series of chops there from Stevie Ray. Irish whip into the ropes. And there's a flapjack from Stevie Ray. Into an early cover here. Will this be it? Kevin Nash there to save. Didn't need the help. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a break here. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now official. WCW Saturday Night will be making its first appearance here in the Universe Mode as this is the premiere episode of WCW Saturday Night live from Atlanta, Georgia this Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to miss it, so turn those notifications on. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back live in Tampa, Florida for our main event here. We have the Harlem Heat and the Tag Team Champions, the Outsiders. And here's another pin. Can't tell if that's Booker T or Stevie Ray. I think it is Booker T. Yes, that is Booker T. Booker T is going to work on Kevin Nash. Now Stevie Ray taking out Scott Hall, sending him to the outside. You know, at some point, Hulk Hogan might make his presence felt in this match. I can just feel it right now, ladies and gentlemen. Hulk Hogan just goes against the rules at all costs. And matter of fact, the whole NWO does. And here goes Booker T. We can see a Harlem hangover. Harlem hangover now. Kevin Nash able to get out of the way of the big man. The 
big man able to get out of the way and avoid the hard takeover. Float over DDT or float over neckbreaker by Booker T tagging in his brother. Stevie Ray, like I said earlier, the muscle of the group. Might be the man to have to take out Kevin Nash in this match. He might be the X Factor in this match to be able to match the size and strength of Kevin Nash. And Booker T right now just with a vertical suplex. Oh, vertical suplex on the mat. On the outside, on the big man. I might be wrong. Booker T might be the strength of the group as he sends Kevin Nash back inside. And Stevie Nash going to work on Scott Hall. The Harlem Heat are definitely in control of this match now. Side slam there by Kevin Nash. Able to calm down the crowd and slow down the momentum of the Harlem Heat. What is he going to look for here? Snake eyes into the turnbuckle. And Kevin Nash knows he's back in control. Back into the corner. What are you going to do here? Oh, his elbow just... Got to ring the ears of Stevie Ray. And here's Scott Hall, ladies and gentlemen. Scott Hall back in this match. Fresh legs. And Booker T able to get a hot tag. Here we go. Here's Booker T. Lock up. And Booker T with the slam on the back there. Taking out the low back of Scott Hall. A great way to take out your opponent. And here we go. DDT there from Booker T. Tagging in Stevie Ray. Stevie Ray might be the man to take out the trash here with a tall clothesline with the leg. One. Kevin Nash there to break it up. Stevie Ray, what's he looking for here? Hooks the arms. Pedigree. Triple H. Shades of Triple H. One. And Kevin Nash is there for the save every time. Harlem Heat can't even get past the one count during this match. Kevin Nash is definitely playing his part there by assisting his buddy Hall and breaking up the count every time as we see a big knee there from Stevie Ray again. And the Harlem Heat here with a great strategy working in and out here on the Tag Team Champions showing that they have the strategy here in this match. So far, the Harlem Heat have definitely outsmarted the Outsiders. And Booker T just going to work on that knee of Scott Hall. And here's the Harlem hangover. We might see the Harlem hangover here, ladies and gentlemen. Harlem hangover. No. Missed again. That just has to tear down the tailbone of the challengers here. Booker T down after that whiff on the Harlem hangover. And Kevin Nash back in the match. Oh, man. And Kevin Nash's size is definitely what the outsiders needed in this match at this point to definitely secure a win here. Booker T is torn down after that miss on the Harlem hangover and here, choke slam. Yes, he got it. Choke slam here into the pin. Stevie Ray's dazed, two, no. Booker T is able to kick out. Oh my goodness, what a kick out there from Booker T. Look at the resilience of Booker T. Showing the heat. kick there and the big man is dazed. Oh, I thought he was going towards the scissors kick here. And Booker T back at top. Might be a little too far here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. 
the one time Booker T has the hole and hangover set up, he is too far away. But here's a scissors kick. Scissors kick. Scissors kick to the one half of the champions. And Scott Hall there to break up the count again. Stevie Ray. If Stevie Ray keeps his head in the game here and takes out Scott Hall, this match might be over right now. And now Scott Hall paying the price for getting involved. Back suplex here from Booker T, and now he's got to reassess here and maybe get the champ back in a day's position and maybe work on Scott Hall here before you cover him up. Scott Hall just working over Stevie Ray, working over the chest of Stevie Ray. And no, he does a bullet with a bicycle kick. Bicycle kick there from Stevie Ray. Onto the outside. And Scott Hall step ahead. Bulldog. Bulldog from Scott Hall. That might have been what the outsiders needed here to gain a breather and maybe regain some momentum. And Scott Hall getting in the face of Booker T over there. As you can see here, folks, I've had a hell of a time trying to figure out who the hell Stevie Ray and Booker T are as they look just alike. But nonetheless, here is a axe handle. Uh, Scott Hall now dropping the elbow on the sternum. This has been a hellacious match so far, ladies and gentlemen. Tons of action on the outside. Scott Hall now. Find himself a breather again and maybe looking for the count out here. And Scott Hall telling him to stay down. Stay down and don't even think about getting back in this match because I have full momentum. And Scott Hall just showing off for the crowd now. Oh, there's a close one. Taking out Booker T. Oh, that's Stevie Ray. And what's he looking for here? Razor's Edge. Will we see the Razor's Edge? Got it. He got it, ladies and gentlemen, and that might be it. Taken out. Booker T on the apron. One, two, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. What a main event here to end the first episode of Nitro. And what, what the hell is Hulk Hogan doing? Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan claiming that Hulkamania is dead, a thing of the past. And he's, he's warning the WCW roster right now. He's claiming that this is their warning, ladies and gentlemen. I wouldn't call it dominance. I think it was a great win, but it wasn't dominance. Wow, Kevin Nash, strong words. Saying that's just a sliver of what's to come here from the NWO. What's Scott Hall got to say? This crowd not appreciating the words from the NWO. Wow, Scott Hall saying that the NWO will be in gold soon. Strong statement by Scott Hall there. And now he's just mocking the crowd. What has Hulk Hogan got left to say?
And now Hogan saying that Bischoff is politicking on who the world heavyweight champion is. Wow, strong words here from Hulk Hogan saying that the NWO will take out anybody permanently. What does this mean for the WCW?